what's going on guys? Welcome to the channel today. My name is Russell, aka Medic Magic. Today's topic is gonna be the number one thing you don't want to do when you trade a car in to a dealership. Now today is May 7th, 2020, and we are kind of coming on the tail end of this whole uh, pandemic that's going on. And we're entering into a economy that has crashed. Uh, lots of people lost their jobs. Lots of people are running out of money. Whatever that case may be, but there's a certain amount of people out there that have money that want to take advantage of certain circumstances that are going to be happening, i.e. prices of everything are going, to be, are going to be going down. Demand is going to be lower and supply is going to be up. So in turn, you're going to be, you're going to be getting better deals on cars if you're looking to buy one. If you're in a position to buy one, now is the time to buy a car uh, within the next couple of weeks when everything starts opening back up. If you guys don't know, if you're not part of this channel, if you haven't subscribed, my family has a car dealership that is currently shut down because of everything that's going on. And therefore, oh, probably I'd say close to four or five months, something like that. I was working there full time on top of my normal job, um, as a salesman, as basically the person that you talk to when you come in the door and you want to buy a car. The number one thing I can talk about that you don't want to do when you're training a car in, and I see this from the other side now and it makes so much sense and I've been duped by sales, not, I don't want to say duped, but I've been convinced by a salesman when I'm on the other side, I'm trying to purchase a car, that this doesn't matter. And what I'm going to say is the number one thing is do not take a dirty, disgusting, filthy car in to be traded in. And I will go as far as saying don't even take a dirty car in to be traded in. Now, the guys might tell you that the condition of your car doesn't matter on how much money they're going to offer you. They go off book value, but they never really give you book value and they go with numbers. They do whatever they want to do and they come up with what they're going to give you. Now, being a salesman on the other side, if somebody came in with a car that was pristine, it's been cleaned, it's been well taken care of, and they want to buy a car, it's going to be a whole lot easier for me to get that car in and either take it to the auction or put it on the lot because... Number one thing in business is time is money. And that's so important because when you look at a car that comes in, it's filthy and disgusting and dirty. The first thing in your mind is we're going to have to take the time or we're going to have to pay somebody to clean this to get it to the point where it's going to be able to be sold on the lot or to be taken to the auction. They might just not want to deal with it. They might send it off the auction as is. But again, being on the other side of this, when we would go to the auction, if we saw a car that was what we wanted, good price, but was dirty and disgusting, we would think to ourselves, this is going to take hours of our time to be able to get this to the condition of getting the car to be sold. If the car was there and it was something we wanted, it's obviously going to be less value because you're looking at it again, time is money. Other dealerships that are going to buy this car are going to have to pay somebody to completely decontaminate it, get it to the point where, where they want to put it on their lot and they want to sell it. So it's going to bring less money at the auction versus if you take a car and that's nice, clean, spick and span, doesn't have to have much done to it, you're going to get a way better deal on it. And I can talk about this and say this from experience because like I said, I've been on the other side of this. And I'll give you guys a couple different specific situations um, that actually happened to me. I can specifically remember a point where a we were selling an F-150. A guy came in with an F-150 that was probably about, I think it was a year older than the one that we were selling, but the guy had a V6 and he wanted the V8. And he came in and he's like, I want to just do a straight, clean trade which was the stupidest thing I've ever heard um, because his truck wasn't worth nearly what the truck we were selling was worth. But we entertained him. Um, but his truck looked like it was dunked into a lake and brought back out and dried. And then he drove it in to come check out our truck. It wasn't even in my mind to even offer this guy money for his truck or even want to do this um, because I knew the amount of time and effort that it's going to take to get this truck back up to par where we can sell it to sell for the same exact amount of money that we want to sell this truck for doesn't make much sense. Now, one more example is being at the auction, looking at these cars. Again, if we came across something that was disgusting and dirty and needed 10 hours of getting cleaned, extensive, extensive cleaning, we just wouldn't buy it. So just to sum this up, guys, clean your cars before you take them and trade in. They might tell you at the, they might tell you at the dealerships that it doesn't matter. They go off book value anyways, but it does matter. You're going to win or you're going to lose money by how clean your car is when you take it in. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching this quick little uh, video. We'll see you in the next one. Uh, let me know how you like this little setup.